What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw 4 TV. I know that I seldom talk about a sport like long distance running or marathon running, but they lost a man, a very, very young man, a special young man, recently that was going to go down as perhaps the greatest long distance runner overall in the sports history. Calvin Kiptum, just 24 years old, and his coach were tragically killed in a road accident in Kenya. I'm reading from an article uh, from CNN embedded on, an M on the MSN.com website. Current marathon world record holder Calvin Kiptum and his coach Gervais Hakizamana were killed in a road accident. Sunday night outside the Rift Valley town of Eldoret, Kenyan police confirmed. The 24-year-old Kenyan athlete who was driving a Toyota Premio and his coach died at the scene of the crash. El Gallo Marraquet County Police Commander Peter Malanga told uh, CNN. A third occupant survived with serious injuries, Malanga added. He lost control, veered off the road, entered into a ditch 60 meters away and hit a big tree. The accident happened around 11 p.m. local time. Kiptum's world record marathon time of 2 minutes 35 seconds set in the Chicago Marathon in October last year was ratified just days ago by World Athletics. He had only switched to running the marathon from short distances uh, a year before setting that record pace. He improved his personal best time by 50 seconds to beat the two minute, or the two hour, one minute and nine second record set by fellow Kenyan Eloide Kipchoge, who is widely considered the greatest marathoner of all time. Kipton was widely believed to be the successor to Kipchoge and a possible contender to run a marathon in under two hours. Marathon running has suffered a tragic loss. World Athletics President Sebastian Coe said that Kiptum was, quote, an incredible athlete leaving an incredible legacy. We will miss him dearly. Gervais Hakizamana, uh and his coach will be sadly missed. On behalf of all World Athletics, we send our deepest condolences to their families friends, teammates, and the Kenyan nation. Cole added that it was only earlier this week in Chicago, the place where Kelvin set his extraordinary marathon world record, that was able to officially ratify his historic time. Kipton's manager, Bob Verbeek, uh, described the athlete as a beloved friend. On behalf of all of our colleagues and his friends at Galazzo Management Group, we send our deepest condolences to their families, friends, and all in the athletics family. And um, you know, like I said, I'm not a big, big fan of marathon running, but I did see the story, and I know that it's a very difficult sport um, to run. To me, I think it's harder to run in a sustained manner like that in a sprint. Uh, I mean, it takes a lot of endurance to do a sprint sprint running, but to do marathon running takes extraordinary conditioning. Um, the average American, the average person, if they attempted to run a marathon in that speed would suffer a massive heart attack. Um, I mean, you have to really be, I mean, I would think it would take not just extraordinary cardiovascular conditioning, but it would also take lung capacity, um, uh, I would assume you have to have a special type of diet, uh, you have to really be hydrated, and, 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 I 
I mean, it, it just, I would think it just, it takes, you know, that's a person who's trained their body to be able to run these types of long distances. I remember when I was in high school, I hated long distance running. I hated it more than anything else. Oh, I could run for like maybe two minutes real, real fast, you know, in high school. When I got, you know, I lost a lot of weight and got into good shape. But that long distance, like 30 minutes plus running, 45 minutes, I couldn't stand it. You start cramping up. You know, I used to get these cramps on my sides, uh, cramps in my legs. You had to try to run through it. Then there was a period of time, of course, when you first start running, you hit the wall earlier. You got to break through the wall. Uh, once you get past the wall, your conditioning gets a little bit better. It gets a little bit easier. But man, oh man, I used to hate running. I couldn't stand it. But it's great exercise, though. It is. It's, it's tremendous. Great. It's great exercise. Uh, but aside from the exercise part, uh, this is a sport that was dominated by Kenyans. And um, he was probably the guy that was going to set the standard for marathon running and be the first guy to do it in under two hours. He was probably going to be the guy to do it. Uh, unfortunately, he was taken out tragically. So, just want to do a video on him. Rest in peace, Kelvin Kiptum.